You know those horrid mornings when you wake up feeling meh and we can't breathe through our nose? When all night we've been breathing through our mouth and our throat is sore. But once the heat from the shower hits our body, a relief and a sigh is heard. Oh, this feels so good. And the next minute we're convulsing from our neck trying to hack up something that is totally gross. Ugh, phlegm. And that's the topic for today's episode. I wondered, once researching and working out what phlegm is and why it's created, I'd be able to know how to stop the rancid morning routine and prevent it from happening again. With the transition of summer to winter, it's best we remind ourselves of what occurs. The next season becomes colder, the air drier, and can dry out the phlegm membranes and allow viruses into our body quicker. And I, for one, do not want a viral invasion. What about you? Welcome to Yummy Mummy Podcast, a show about taboo topics most people don't want to talk about. I'm Lisa Jane, your holistic lifestyle mentor, inspiring you to live a delicious life. Let's delve into health and well-being for our mind, body and spirit. Each episode will get you thinking and hopefully progressing. I'll share my research and offer you tools. It's up to you to take them. You may put them on the shelf or give them a go and work with them. See what happens. I'd love to hear your feedback. You can share your review at my website, lisajanehussey.com forward slash review. This episode has been brought to you by Aquatique Mind, Body, Spirit, a holistic beauty and skin therapy clinic nurturing you through discovering your elemental self. View their services through facebook.com forward slash aquatique.retreat.center. Oh, that dreaded feeling when you know your body needs to rest, but you've got so much on your plate and if you stop, you ask yourself, who else is going to do it? And even if you rest, which you have to because your muscles are aching and your head is throbbing, sleep is the easiest thing to do. But upon waking, that overwhelmed feeling creeps up and anxiety starts to burn a hole in your stomach. Am I ever going to win this battle? Great question. This now brings me to the topic of phlegm, which can also be known as mucus. However, they are different. First, let's talk about mucus. From my research through medical books and online journals, our bodies naturally make mucus every day and isn't necessarily a sign of being unhealthy. It is thin and clear. Mucus helps us protect our body from infection. It's produced by the respiratory system and lines the tissues such as nose, mouth, throat and lungs. While we sleep, mucus and other irritants can pull in our lungs, throat and nose overnight and then becomes phlegm. When we become active in the morning, the phlegm starts to break up and may trigger coughing or sneezing. This is our body's way of clearing irritants from our respiratory system. Our immune system sends white blood cells to the areas where there has been an invasion to fight. Charge! Just imagine these courageous cells working their magic to sweep away microorganisms to expel out the body. When white blood cells meet their enemy, like soldiers, they attack invaders unfamiliar to the body by producing antibody proteins attaching to the organism and destroying it. Going back to the battle question, wonder if we're ever going to gain victory. Well, there's a battle going on within our nose when we are stuffy or when we feel that thick, stickiness hanging around the back of our throat, when we cough and hear rattling of wetness in our lungs wanting to come up, and all we need to do is sit back and rest. But we are humans and won't. So, whilst the inner is doing its thing, what can the outer parts of ourselves do to support our immune system? Remember what was said earlier about the weather drying us out. The biggest key to support our immune system is to stay hydrated. So, Lots of fluids like filtered water, herbal teas, soups, stews, curries, juicy fruits and vegetables. Mucous membranes need to be moist to stay healthy. Think of the mucous membrane as the armour that keeps our respiratory system healthy. Staying hydrated helps to make our mucus thin and watery 
and in the evening, a humidifier is a great way to moisten up the air when sleeping. Nasal saline irrigation could be another natural way to help flush out mucus and environmental allergens in the nose. It is also thought to help improve the health and function of cilia, the tiny hairs inside your nose that work to help clear the nasal passage of mucus and irritants. Skin is another natural barrier and keeping it bare won't help the immune system whilst we're going through a seasonal transition. Cover all energy points with a beanie, scarf, gloves, and it's also time to focus on keeping your feet warm. Leave the thongs of public showers and pull out the Ugg boots for a snuggly comfort. Other natural ways through vitamins and minerals are zinc, which increases the production of white blood cells, and vitamin C helps regulate the levels of white blood cells in our body. When it comes to viral invasions, jump over to my podcast episode with Yoss Sauer, the lifestyle medicine man, as we delve further into prevention. Thank you for joining Yummy Mummy Podcast. If you feel what I do is important and you would like to see more, please consider making a donation. PayPal.me forward slash Lisa Jane Hussey. Just remember, peeps, this information is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice and should not be relied on as such. Always seek the guidance of your doctor or other qualified health professionals with any questions you may have regarding your health or a medical condition. All references to my research will be added to the article version. You can find that lisajanehussey.com forward slash articles. And as always, stay delicious. Mwah.